So remember, I was talking last week about Thor's chocolate. Okay. And I thought, well, we'll just see about that. Well, Mm -hmm. we're about to see about that. Can I do a quick sidebar that does have to do with it? Yeah. So just today, I had a little kid talking to me, which I kind of love because little kids are so funny when they do. And before anything else he mentioned, he said, Santa brought me chocolate. And I thought that was really cute. He didn't worry about his toys. He didn't worry about anything else. He just talked about his chocolate for like the first three sentences of the conversation that dragged on way too long. Kidding. He was so cute, honestly. <laughs> but you know how I'm kids sure. are. Yeah. He, he repeated that like three or four times because he was so excited about his chocolate. How old you know was what? He? Oh, he couldn't have been more than like three or four. He okay. Was, then, yeah, he that was, makes sense. Yeah. He was, you know. He's, the, he's he's still at that age where he probably played more with the box the toy came in <laughs> right, than the right. toy itself at yeah. this point. Mm-hmm. He was very excited about the chocolate. And I feel like a little kid at Christmas. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. I can't wait for the chocolate. <laughs> so, I, and I don't know how to hand it to you, but let me grab this entire stack and just show it off to the camera. Um, I ordered a 10-pack. Christian from... Thor's chocolate gave me a bonus bar. Oh, ooh la la. We're sitting on 11 bars <laughs> of virgin chocolate. Now, have you ever Not had- technically a baker's dozen, but kind of the 10 bar equivalent of a baker's dozen. Yeah. Because the idea is that he just throws in a little bonus one for funsies, you've, you know? You've tasted fresh chocolate, right? Like chocolate <sighs> to the point where you're like, okay, for example, I mean, just a three musketeers. Most of the time when you have one, they're average, but every once in a while, you'll get one and it'll be like, whoa, this is like three months fresher. I don't know, because I don't actually eat three musketeers because I think they're kind of gross. Okay, but any candy bar, (laughs) and you know what? Okay, right. here's where I've experienced it recently, dollar store candy. Now look, they must get the one-offs or whatever, Mm -hmm. because I've never had good and plenty so misshapen as I have (laughs) from the dollar store, but- they're fresher. Mm-hmm. And and so I don't know about candy and distribution chains or any of that. They but probably send them their uggos. Here's what I do. I think they do. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, batch 105793X to batch 105793Z. Mm-hmm. Those need to go. Those the, the We had a problem in the squeezy right, machine right. Well, and also, to be fair, good and plenties just tend to sit on shelves for a while, so... I love them. I know you do. I'm going to hand you a handful. So this is Thor's chocolate. Now, look, I'm not going to kid you. This is spendy stuff. It's basically 100 bucks for 10 bars. That's right, 10 bucks a bar. Oh, Really, had, Mike? Yeah. No, not really. It was like 95 I've seen $14 chocolate bars before. But there's no distribution. I oh. literally went to Christian's house. Oh. You go to Thor'sChocolate.com, I think. Uh-huh. Um, placed my order, you know, put in my credit card, emailed and saying, ideally, we'd like these. Uh-huh. Got an email back like less than an hour later saying, great. Uh, and you can- Minimum order is? R- right. I think minimum order is 75 bucks if you don't want to pay any uh, delivery charges. Mm-hmm. Or um, look at you modeling those. I'm doing my best. But I said, you know, I'd love to just- swing by and see your operation. So I meet with Christian. He gives me these bars Uh and he tells me, so like he is the only, and I don't know in what kind of mile radius, but I'm going to say several hundred mile radius. The only uh, company around these parts here that makes it from, he gets the beans Mm -hmm. and he makes the chocolate and he puts it into a bar and you get it. Oh, so he's the only local traditional chocolatier? Yeah. Okay, have you seen that movie? It's got Johnny Depp in it. It's one of my favorites. Chocolat? Chocolat? Yes. Uh, is he basically the Johnny Depp's girlfriend equivalent of that right here? I don't remember what his girlfriend did. Oh, she, she made the, the chocolate. She was the chocolate maker. Yeah. Yes. All I remember from that movie is when the local constabulary, the constable, was like so lustful of the chocolate that he just gorged himself? Yes, because it was Lent. Because it was, oh, okay. Yes, and then finally he could have the chocolate, or actually, no, I think it was before Lent was over. Oh, sinner, sinner, sinner going to hell. Right, but I remember that Johnny Depp lived on a houseboat, and he like 
I remember he made a joke about rats and I was like, oh, rats are cute. What do you mean? <laughs> and I remember her and her daughter making chocolate and it was just cute as, as everything. It was just adorable. <laughs> anyway, chocolate. <laughs> so he was showing me his operation and like, okay, here's the beans. This is what I do to them. And then I did mix it with the, some stuff. And then here it comes out. And then reaches in the bins and said, okay, you wanted what of what? Um, I want two pineapple cream and I want a raspberry cream and there's Ecuadorian milk chocolate, but also Ugandan milk chocolate. Uh, yeah, and there's I'm also keto that. milk and there's also dark. I'm, I'm showing Ecuador it to me. Milk. I'll show it to you. Oh, I saw the you. It's, oh, I just, I just saw the Ecuador. I just finally saw Uganda. But the point I'm making is this is hot and fresh out the kitchen <laughs> in our hands. Oh. I mean, this is only a few days old. And okay. we're about to try it. I say we pick just one flavor. Yes. Because or, or else we're going to be here all night. And I know we're already over time on this show. So first and foremost, I'm going to vote for the pineapple cream. That's the one I was going to vote for. <laughs> also. But I'll pick a different one. He, You know what he said? He said, if you like milk chocolate, you need to try either the Ecuador or the Ugandan milk chocolate. So which is it going to be? Pick your. Do you want Africa Ugandan. or South America? It's got to be Ugandan. Okay. Africa yeah. it is. Um, but when, so I saw the pack of it and I saw the pineapple cream, I thought all of these were pineapple cream. Oh, and yeah. I was like, okay, you know, that SpongeBob meme, meme, the like, I love chocolate. And she says it really weird. It's when I SpongeBob that and one, Patrick I are like selling chocolate bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's weird. But anyway, <laughs> every time I hear chocolate, I hear that weird old lady fish's voice in my head saying chocolate. So while we're opening these, you know, so I'm fascinated by all things local, and I think so are you. You know, you love the branch and vine olive oils. I do. And um, poppy pee pee poo poo poppy. And pop. That right. sounds terrible. It sounds like we're dissing them, but really, it's a very loving poppy and nickname. Pop. Yeah, it's because I couldn't them. get it right for the first three times that yes. Carly told me it was funny, and I love them so much. Today, as I was walking to meet you, I I passed by them. Holy and all packaging, I to Batman! Do, I know, right? I am opening this wrong. But um, yeah, as scissors? I was walking by them, I can get some. I just wanted to look in the windows and love it. Do you have any scissors? Oh, thank you. Wait, are these the culinary scissors? Of course. Oh, wonderful. Although I will admit, I did almost grab the utility scissors. Oh, for shame. I know, I know. They were closer technically. Mikey has three sets of scissors in his home. We have the utility scissors <laughs> that are only for like Amazon packages. Mm -hmm. We have the culinary scissors. And then we have the scissors in my closet specifically for strings on my shirts. <laughs> so that's my system. Uh, do, oh, you got yours open. How did you do that? I have very strong hands from when I used to do I guess. <laughs> acrobatics and stuff. I've actually got really good grip strength to the point where I have a weird little muscle here that most people... Ooh. So, look at look at this. This is interesting texturing okay, on Okay, and also, first off, that's white chocolate, which is my favorite. I know it is. <gasps> Not only white chocolate, but fruit flavored white chocolate yes. is a big thing. So maybe I need oh to hand gosh, this to I'm you. So... I've opened the pineapple cream. Let okay, me give well, that wait, to no, you. No, no, you take the first bite because then when we trade it, I can then have the you rest can hang on to it is. like we did with the Jelly Belly sodas. Exactly. Okay. Now I've taken a nice little chunk out of Here mine. Here we go. You ready? Got a chunky boy, yeah. We're gonna slowly enjoy this here. It's in my mouth. Great texture. <laughs> oh, whoa. Pow goes the, and boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Pow goes the pineapple. So it's that, melting in my hand. That hits you, and then you get hit with the cream. Okay. Mm. I don't want to describe this too, too much until you taste it. But once you've tasted it, I want to tell you the secondary note that I tasted it. Okay. That I think is incredibly important in good chocolate. And this one has. Oh, man. Now, I'm not a big fan of white mm. chocolate, but I am a big fan of pineapple. I'm a big fan of both, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love white chocolate. Probably because I'm so pasty. Uganda milk. Oh. Oh, milky goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, chocolatey <laughs> milky goodness. Mm -hmm. Where have you been all my life? So, for one, I was expecting it to be like jelly filled. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad it's not, because I think that would have been too much. It sounds rad. 
It sounds like they should do that down the road. 50-50. But right now, we just want to taste the quality of the chocolate. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe I it's just it. because I saw the operation, but I can almost taste like the chocolate beans. Did you get some <laughs> down your... You got some down your popcorn tunnel? What do you call that? I mean, My cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> I literally came up with that on the spot. Thank God it was the white chocolate to match my outfit. Because <laughs> it's definitely going to melt in there before I can get it out. It goes well with the ivory <laughs> on your dress. I think so. I think so. Um, I like this better. You can have that. <laughs> this is, it's not like mm. the richest chocolate I've ever tasted. You know, it's not, this mm. doesn't taste decadent. I'm almost comparing this to a fine wine. This is an everyday chocolate. I hate to say that. No, well, that makes it sound like it's common. Right. It's not. This is so much better than Hershey or Nestle. Mm -hmm. But this is... Um, this is the kind of chocolate you could eat every day and not get tired of. This is dangerous because mm -hmm. of that, right? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's not overly oh, de man. decadent because mm -hmm. i would say it is decadent but it's decadent like living in a fancy house you know and having nice clothes like it's decadent but you'll never get tired of it right you know do you think um should we open the ecuadorian milk chocolate to just to do a direct contrast and compare to see if we can taste the difference between uganda and ecuador should we be not to Yes, let's I think be, we should be let's naughty. Have, you know, and this I think this New Year's Eve or this New Year's Day episode is an appropriate time to discuss the idea of the bad idea. Yeah. You know when you're out to dinner and you get a dessert with two spoons and you've had all that you feel is responsible but then you look at each other with a sly, coy, devilish Gleam look in, in your, your eyes eye. and you say should we have just one bad idea? <laughs> and the right. other person goes, oh, yeah, because they're fully on board. Ooh, look at that. So this is a different texture than Nicely the other done. two, which is kind of okay. neat. Okay. Yeah. Now, I've got this fresh in my mouth. Do you want to... Do you want a bite of the um, pineapple to sort of refresh yourself? No, I want I want the Uganda in my okay, mouth. Okay, I'm going to start with this, and then I'll okay. take a bite of that. Man, we're taking way too long on this, but... Um, mm hmm. Hmm. I think it deserves it, don't you? <laughs> oh. And we're not food oh. critics, by the way. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. I can definitely taste the difference. And this, in my mind, is the clear winner. This is Ecuadorian? Yes. Okay. Oh, much smoother and lighter and milkier. Ooh. So, okay, let me tell you about the note that I noticed in the original one. Okay. I noticed a very strong caramel note in the um, Ugandan milk mm. chocolate. Now, the Ecuadorian one, I actually think I also like better. I'm going to double check by tasting this one next. It's smooth. Just to make sure. It's so smooth. It's and, ridiculously smooth. Okay, and it's almost got a tartness to it. Almost Silky. Like, almost like it was made out of goat's milk, which I know sounds weird. Is it to weird to say chocolate, it's but. earthier? No, that's exactly what it is. It it's not so artificial. It tastes natural. I mean like, like mama nature. <clears throat> yeah, like it's just Mama Nature's cuddling okay. me a little bit more. Seriously, like the, I can't believe we're having this conversation, but Mama Nature is cuddling me a little bit more on this mm -hmm. Ecuadorian chocolate as opposed to the Ugandan. Right. Okay. The Ecuadorian chocolate tastes like okay if i'm comparing it to cheeses because of course i will they're both dairy products it's fair ecuadorian chocolate is goat's milk which is my favorite i love me a goat's milk but the uh ugandan chocolate is more like a nice cheddar you know it's sweeter it's almost artificial tasting whereas the goat's milk tastes like it came straight from the ground through the teat into your into your cheese. Can I give you, know? you my lousy analogy? Yeah. Okay. The Ugandan milk chocolate is more like, oh, hi, mom. Mm. 
the Ecuadorian chocolate is mama. <laughs> like a toddler running to his mommy. Oh, it's so just, good. Just so desperate to see his mother again. Oh, mama. Mm-hmm. I get that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Man, you know who would love this? My dead mom. <laughs> no. She would. Okay. The Ugandan Why farmer- weren't you a couple years earlier? Man. The Ugandan has a more toffee flavor to it, and I feel like the Ecuador has a more earthy flavor to it. This is this is what a time to be alive. Yeah. What a time to be alive also in wild. Idaho Falls, Idaho. Yeah. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, and I didn't tell you this. So after he was all done explaining it to me, I looked at him and I said, oh, some, so for, you're the only one for miles around who makes chocolate from bean to the bar. And he said, yep. And as I was driving away, I I was patting myself on the back going, I deserve a, you know what, buddy? That one's free. Mike Nelson, marketing mm-hmm. expert mm-hmm. from bean to the bar. Yeah. I thought, what a clever slogan I just gave him for free. Look down at the bar. From bean to the bar. So no. either. So I'm, I don't know what focus group you use to come up with that, buddy. Mm-hmm. But um, first of all, excellent, accurate, great slogan, memorable, and um, great minds think alike. Can we just say that? And the whole thing, by the way, you want to talk sustainable. This his whole operation powered by solar energy. He's got. I like saw his rows of solar panels, and you can too. Man, that's so cool. What's funny I, is I wish I could say more about it, but I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm just eating that, all this yeah, chocolate. Can you break me off another piece? I've had I feel so many bites while you've been chit chatting. I feel like the constable in chocolat. Mm-hmm. This this I would gorge myself on sugar rush and crash right. in the front window of any Idaho Falls business. <laughs> yeah, hit us up. <laughs> you want a window display for the holidays? <laughs> It'll be like Elf. <laughs> you'll, no. you'll you'll hold a little carol caroler. I just want Carolo? to smear it on my face and take a <laughs> bath in it. Right. Man, that's good, though. I can't get over how how different those two milk chocolates are. The aftertaste. I mean, the taste good. The aftertaste, whoa. Bam. Whoosh. I really like the white chocolate. <laughs> Crazy lady. I do. It's my fave. In fact, let's let's take this all the way and say, <clears throat> Thor's chocolate, you are IFAF this week. Mm-hmm. Chris Pie 5. Whoosh, 21 finger gun salute. Pew, pew. Chef's kiss. To you. I wonder if he, one question I didn't ask him is, does he use Majolner? <clears throat> to pound out the be- <laughs> to crush the beans, <laughs> Thor's hammer. I do kind of wonder why. I he still chose don't know Thor. how to pronounce that. Mjolnir, Mjolnir. Yeah, uh, yeah, you found that on the web. You're here, Mjolnir. <laughs> Thank you. Great Thank you very much. Titanic call back to end the episode. <laughs> I saw it in a meme. <laughs> Honestly. The Ecuadorian chocolate is what I picture the river in Willy Wonka tasting like. Yes, I could see that. <laughs> so smooth and silky. Um, fuck, Rich and decadent. Gonna... Oh, okay. So you know how all of your New Year's resolutions fail? My New Year's resolution is to use Thor's chocolate to get real fat. <laughs> 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 That's my plan. I bet it would work. If you really... I mean, if I had the money to invest. If you really commit yourself, though, you've got to mm-hmm. make a commitment. Yeah. You know, yeah. like a bar a day mm-hmm. will keep the weight loss away. Yeah. I think I could do it. 